Hello my sweeties, Jay Sly here. I would like to say thank you for 200 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Also, please do not use my voice in any other <coughs> videos and such. So with all that said, please enjoy the video that I have made for you guys. And it took me quite a while to make it due to... Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, the first thing you want to do when drawing your feline friend is to put circles for where the head, the chest, and the hindquarters are. Then put some lines indicating where the feet and tail are, and then some more indication lines for the ears and the eyes. Then change the opacity of the current layer, or change the color if you're an MS Paint. Then get a kind of thinner pencil with a darker color. And then start putting detail into the fur, paws, tail, eyes, ears, accessories, you know, pretty much anything that needs detail in your case, like whatever you think needs detail in your character. And don't be afraid to change things up a bit from your main sketch. Um, and also if you're having troubles, don't get discouraged. Just have fun. Like, as you can see, I start having a few troubles with the back legs. As you can see, right now, I start getting a bit angry about it. But, you just gotta keep pushing on through. And, if you don't really want to have a detailed character, you don't have to. Simple characters can be amazing as well. As long as you put in a lot of, you know, detail into the backstory, make sure they're a really good character. You know, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also, another thing about being a, like, another thing to help you with your art, just experiment with other things, like different eyes, different pupils of the eye, maybe. Even small things, like just like different paw shape. Also, as you can see, I was having a bit of trouble with the face, so remember, it won't always turn out as good as you hope, so I just erased it and drew a new muzzle. So I was just trying new things, right? So yeah, remember, if it doesn't look correct to you, just, just change it, experiment a bit, all that good stuff. Now with my outline, I usually just use a pencil size of 1.6 on my drawing app, and my drawing app that I use is Sketch Club for speed paints, but for animations and most stuff that I put on DeviantArt, I use Art Studio. Um, Sketch Club is free on the App Store, meanwhile, um, Art Studio is $4.99, I believe. So yeah, another thing you can do, don't be afraid to put more detail than what was intended on the sketch into your character, like if you want to add, I don't know, a few more things that, I don't know, just, just experiments. That's all I can say for art, just experiment a bunch. So yeah, don't be afraid to erase lines, don't be... Well, if you are a bit afraid, just don't worry. Because no matter what you do, it'll somehow affect your art in a positive manner as long as you're trying and practicing and put dedication into your work. So... Yeah, some things I use for my art are a iPad original because I'm old. Not really, I don't know what I am. Um, a stylus, just, you know, normal apps I find in the app store by looking up drawing apps because, yeah, I'm too a bit lazy to look into that and such. Um, let's see here, what else could I really say about this matter? Just keep going over lines. As you can see, I wasn't really happy with the tail length, so I cut it down quite a bit. So, yeah. Which was, by the way, drawing can be really fun or just a bit painful to how you put it. Just, if you need a break, don't, don't be afraid to take one, okay? Artists always need breaks. <laughs> now, for the outline, a thing that I tend to do is like shave off a bit of the beginning line to make it look a bit more cleaner and crisp 
just erasing part of that glob of ink that was there before. You know, just fixing up the outline a bit. Or, like, if you don't like any of the things I'm saying in this video, you don't have to follow them. You do you, man. I do me. I never said you had to do like me. So, yeah. Make all the edges a little sharp. It makes it look cleaner. Well, to me it does at least. Who knows, maybe you have like a cartoonish, like cartoon-like style that says otherwise, but hey, it's just my style, man. So then I will blindly choose colors from the side of the screen because I'm too lazy to make my own. So yeah, I usually put like a darker color in the ears for some reason. Most people put a lighter color. I don't know, I just do me. Um, another thing is with experimenting. Experimenting is the most thing of art. Like, so if you want to experiment, that's pretty much what art is. Experimenting with colors, experimenting with outlines. Just experiment a lot. You won't improve that much if you don't try new things. So... Yeah, I was just experimenting with random colors that I saw on the side of the screen. Like, experimenting with random shapes. I tried to go for like a sharp edge theme. And as you can see, I was very happy with the colors, how they work together. Some people might think they look a bit weird because they're unnatural, but hey, if the palette seems bad to you, just use a different palette, right? No one said you had to use a certain palette unless it's for like a custom or something in which they purchased something for you for a certain palette, but that's just me. And yeah, I like to spread colors evenly throughout my characters, so I usually just take colors from the ears and put it throughout the character as well. Such as like the chest and paws usually, maybe the tail. I'm gonna name him Starship. He shall be singing with Nicki Minaj by the end of this video, am I right? Hehehe, <laughs> tries to be funny. Um, so yeah, sorry if I sound extremely monotone. <coughs> Yep, and as you can see, I wasn't really happy with the eye color, so I changed that. And yeah, that is how I draw a kitty cat. If you wish to see more videos like this, I guess, just suggest what you'd like to see, like how to draw this, how to animate, how to get your head stuck in a trash can. Don't ask. Um, so yeah. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more crap like this. And, yeah, once again, thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I love you all, my tiny sweeties. Okay, goodbye.